Hey guys, welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. I'm Shelly. Came outside today to do a little garden update because the garden is popping and growing like crazy. And I found a problem. So here's my problem. I've got squash bugs already in my garden and they're starting to fly away everywhere. I don't know if you can see them or not. Oh, they're in here. They're in this one. This is a male flower. Look at them. Look at them just pile out of there. And you just squish them. Squish them, squish them. Oh. Gosh, there's a lot of them. Hopefully you guys saw that. There'll be plenty of opportunities. There's some in, in this one here. Or there were, I guess they came out. But they're flying around everywhere. Um, yeah, not good. I hate them. They're a pain in the butt and they're destructive. So as you see, this squash plant is doing awesome, or zucchini plant, it is doing awesome. It's got all kinds of male and female. I mean, it is doing great. It is so exciting to see because last year it took forever for my females to pop out, but they're really doing super, super good. Hopefully you can see those in there. So as you come in, I put some nasturtiums in this basket here and I can see, if you can see, there's a couple buds on there. They're gonna be beautiful, nice red. The hummingbirds will probably love that. So I'm excited about that. My, uh, if you can see them, my um, sunflowers are getting taller and they're getting buds on them. And then I have um, hollyhocks on each end. Those are getting taller. They're looking awesome. I've got a little borage over there. And then I sprinkled in some other stuff. And who knows if they're gonna come up. I did plant some large sunflowers and those, there's a few coming up there. So I'm excited to see how tall those are gonna get um, and stuff. Okay, so corn. Corn is doing awesome. I do have some empty spots here and there, and then I have some corn that's coming up that just isn't really growing very quickly. I just took a bunch of compost and put compost around each, each plant just before it was going to rain, and then it came in and rained and watered that all in so nicely, so it's pretty awesome. They grew They've grown a lot since I did that. So that's pretty awesome. My garlic is looking really, really good and it's about ready to be pulled up. You can tell usually, see if I can show you, once these leaves down here start turning, they're pretty much ready. I've put my finger in and felt around a few of them and there's some bulbs there. This one's falling over like it's not happy. So I don't know if, I think this one, there was a bulb in there, but it was pretty tiny, but that's okay. I think, yeah, let's see if I can show you. Yeah, it feels pretty tiny, but let's see. I don't know if you can see in there. I can't see anything because it's so bright. Let's see. So right down in there, see there's the bulb. It's tiny, because this plant's tiny. But that's okay, garlic is garlic, man. So anyway, I've done that to a few of them and they're really getting big. So they're about ready, I think, to pull. They're turning brown and the last bottom, the bottom three or four leaves, I think they said once they turn brown, they're ready. So I think they are getting there quickly. Onions, onions are doing awesome. These four barrels here are full of onions. And I don't know if you can see, but I'm sure you must be able to. Some of the ones that I planted really early uh, that I got from a friend, she just didn't have enough room for them, so she gave them to me and I popped them in. Those are pretty darn ready to come out, I guess. I've got four, four or five of them here and the stalks are starting to fall over on them. So I think they're pretty much ready to come out and be 
and set aside and kind of cure it up a little bit. And I might have some over there that I did too and some in this one that I did as well. All right, so tomato land, basil. Basil's doing good. Basil's doing really good, it's happy here. This tomato plant is super happy to be near this basil, I think. I'm getting all kinds of flowers on these. And I always just walk by and just kind of give it a tap. It helps get these flowers pollinated. Somebody was saying that they use um, a vibrating toothbrush. But I just go by and just tap it. All right, so here is a marigold. This guy is doing so good. Has not flowered yet or anything, but it's looking like it's getting some heads on it like it's going to. Um, and these, of course, these are doing great. Again, I just walk through and tap. Tap them, looking really healthy. I've got them staked up. I don't have the Velcro on them yet, but I will be putting some on. This one's looking good. Oh yeah, right here. I was gonna say, it's got some flowers on it over here. Beans, beans are just popping like crazy and they're just, they're growing beans and flowers. They're flowering like crazy. Look at my peas. Peas are going so good. I've got to pick some of these because they're ready to burst. It looks like, look at this one. That one's ready to burst. My corn that I put in between so my peas could wrap around them are growing and it's working because they're reaching out. They're reaching out to them. There's some more corn, more peas. Pea pods, not ready on those, but those are really going. But yeah, my beans are doing great. Got a big yellow flower in there. I mean, a big yellow leaf. And that one was from when we had the, um, the hailstorm, because I can see all the holes in, in it. It's an old leaf. So that's from the hailstorm that to the chickens but yeah they're starting to pop over the edge and doing really good and like I said my peas are grabbing on to my corn that I grew oh and Yeti wants to be the big man on campus today I've got little cukies coming look at this little guy I haven't got any cuc cucumbers yet but they're starting and I've been trying to keep the squash bugs off them and I see one in there on one of the leaves oh the problem is, he's flying around now. The problem is sometimes they fly so quickly that you gotta be quick to grab them. My CBD plants, those are really doing really well. This is where I've seen my ladybugs, which is awesome. Ladybugs have been on these plants. Yeti. Look at this guy. This is what I gotta deal with. Look at him on the stump. What do you think, you big man? <coughs> yep, look at the baby over there on the back of the chair. <laughs> All three of them were there this morning. <coughs> okay, Ed, yeah, that's good. All right, in between crows is, let's see, uh, potatoes, doing good. My clay, um, Seed balls that I have, those are doing really good. They're growing. Um, these are probably, they look very, oop, it's a squash bug. I say put a rip in that leaf, but I want to get them the best I can. And there's, uh, there was an ant running around on there, but that's okay. But yeah, I think those are mostly, um, there's some here, sunflowers, I think. So there's those. My borage is doing awesome. Look at how pretty those are. I've been taking pictures and putting them on Instagram, so. Hey, look at my dill. Woo! Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. And they're popping out. This is my lemon balm. I just walk by and just rub the leaf, sniff it. And oregano, same thing. I like to walk by and sniff it. 
So yeah, that's looking really good. Die, die. Squash bug. Oh, got him. Got him. They're kind of hard to kill sometimes. They're awful. So more pepper plants, more marigolds, pepper plants, doing great. This one is loving this right here next to this nasturtium. My, um, what do you call these guys? Carrots. Look at my nasturtium. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Putting on gorgeous. I've never had these and they're just gorgeous. I'm hoping the bugs do too. I'm hoping they love it. The hummingbirds. Um, anyway, so there's that. So there's my sweet little garden. I love it. This is my happy place, guys. I love looking out my bedroom window in the morning and the chickens are out booping around in the yard and the garden is growing and green and I can see flowers and I can see vegetables growing. This is my happy place. Thanks for joining me in my garden. This is such... I just love it when it's green, green and flowering and you can see the fruits of your labor. I love it. Have a good day, guys. Take care.